engineering firms are missing a jackpot. There is a veritable cornucopia of ideas related to the combination of agriculture and technology. These opportunities exist because of problems in our produce industry. So what's the problem that we're going to talk to you today about solving? Unless we change the way that we grow food, our food supply is going to diminish. Due to unsustainable agricultural practices, farmers must now cope with the destruction of land in ways such as soil degradation, topsoil loss, and overfarming. As of today, more than 30% of the world's land has become totally degraded, destroying 10 million hectares every year. What makes these problems critical is that global food demand is likely to go up by 60% by 2030. This exacerbates our current food distribution problems. We have 800 million people going hungry, while one third of the food we produce is wasted. This impacts even fully developed areas. Cities and isolated areas are often home to food deserts where it is difficult to buy affordable and high quality fresh food. These problems need a solution. Luckily, engineering firms are in the perfect position to capitalize on the opportunities these issues present. Agriculture, as we currently imagine it, will be totally changing. Bigger problems mean bigger solutions, and we can't rely on old technology to solve our modern crisis. It will not just be farmers out in field tending crops. The population is growing too fast to be solely sustainable by commonplace agricultural practices. New systems will not necessarily replace farms, but will expand the industry by allowing the needed food supply to route directly into urban areas and food deserts. What we need is a method to introduce new farming techniques into these food deserts. As a team, we've been investigating different ideas that rely less on good soil and good farm parses and more in engineering know-how. <clears throat> Early innovators have begun building different machines that use these new systems to grow plants. Some of these systems include aeroponics, which is growing food with a nutrient mist, and aquaponics, which is growing food submerged in water and then using fish to fertilize. In order to explore in order to explore in order to explore innovation mixing with agriculture, our engineering group at CAPS decided to create a personal food computer, or PSC. We don't want to bore you with all the technical details, so I'll keep this brief. We are creating an aeroponic system contained in a dishwasher sized container. It is controlled by a module that monitors and manipulates the temperature, pH, water levels, and plant growth. Our project was suggested by Black and & Beach and we acquired all of our plans from MIT's website. The process of building our PFC has included many obstacles and a lot of research to discover how our system works and how plants grow. But with engineering companies on board with this initiative, systems can become simpler and wider spread. The PFC is not the only new system though that can enhance agricultural abilities. It is just one potential product of a big idea. Our project is an example. Our project is an example. Our project is an example of agriculture spreading to homes and not just large food producing corporations. A PFC easily fits within a house and allows a family to grow their own fresh produce. This not only benefits households, but can impact entire communities. Caleb Harper from MIT has created a building-sized system that can be adapted in cities across the world. Due to urban sprawl, there are thousands of abandoned or unused buildings that can be co-opted to produce food. Black & Beach, our partners, are also working to scale up PFCs to size of shipping containers in order to scale agriculture technology around the globe. This has the potential to rejuvenate these communities. It will change what people eat and how they eat it. It will change the idea of agriculture. So why do we think that engineering companies should be able to do this? Engineering companies know that one of the biggest difficulties with creating new modules is actually building them. Trust me, we would, it's very difficult. 
That's where engineering firms come in. They have the ability to mass produce modules and distribute them across the globe. They have the resources to prototype and research new, technides, new technologies and research new designs. Not only is this beneficial for communities, but it will allow the company to integrate into a new and undeveloped industry. From complex constructions to a wide range of materials, the building process presents a problem for the average individual. If an engineering company were to create an indoor farming system that efficiently uses water and other nutrients, they would solve many of our agricultural as well as environmental problems. We need to utilize the space we already have. Creating small, contained, and most importantly, environmentally controlled systems is our goal. These systems would have several benefits in comparison to traditional agriculture. They reduce water, don't require farm, uh, farm equipment such as tractors. They also don't require have weeds or pesticides, which makes produce uh, healthier to eat. These closed farming systems where the nutrients are recirculated can save up to 95% of water with a 300% larger yield. Not only will plants grow faster, but they also will not be directly affected by climate events. All our lives, we've heard about global warming, natural disasters, and food crises. Personally, I joined the project because it combined two of my interests, engineering and serving our community. The people of Johnson County are incredibly well off in terms of having access to fresh food. But I have lived in many communities that are far less fortunate and who would benefit from having fresh produce directly in their homes. A PSC in every house could lower the rates of obesity, heart disease, and diabetes. It would change people's lives. Every day when I drive to school, I see farms being converted to businesses and housing complexes. It frustrates me to see our food source diminishing while our population is growing. Our agricultural initiative could be the solution to this problem. The world is changing, ladies and gentlemen, and I want to be prepared to help how I can. As a team, we will strive to learn even more about the changes needed in the engineering and food communities. In our class, CAPS means thinking about what we can do to create a positive change. The PFC is our innovative way to start those changes that we want to see in the engineering and global food communities. Three women aspiring to be engineers working every day to learn about solving problems with cutting edge technology is just a spark to inspire more people to be involved in the indoor agriculture movement. Thank you so much.